Hallo, herzlich willkommen bei Tipps und Tricks der Woche. Ich hoffe, es geht euch gut. In der heutigen Folge werden wir das Smart Home von einer vorhergehenden Folge weiterführen. In diesem Fall werden wir das Licht über ein Leutec Gerät und über Notred ansteuern. Und nun wünsche ich euch viel Spaß. Inside the LWAP 900 client, I have created a new graphical project. Kitchen light, simply only kitchen light. Inside there are only three templates. The header, then there's stuff to dim the lights and turn it on and off. And something that makes it a little bit nicer. The template is referencing to data points on the LWAP 900 server. So we can also have a look at it in the data point manager. So on the LWAP 900 server under data point interface, user registers, kitchen, there are only two data points inside, room name and the light setting. So light 2 is for the dimming of the, of the light and room name. I have used light 1 before for something else, so it's now light 2. So let's have a look at the dimming functionality. So I have here a bar graph. The, of course light 2 is connected to it. Kind of display, also a bar graph connected to light 2. And a third bar graph for changing the dim value. So additional to that we have a display for the percent and a button with visible on condition where I can turn on and off the light immediately. So if light 2 is bigger than 0 then this uh, picture is displayed, otherwise the off picture. So this kind of uh, grayed out symbol. Okay. Let's run this stuff. And we can see I can change everything. I can turn it off immediately or I can turn it on goes to 1%. Of course I can say remember the last value and jump immediately to that. But I have skipped this step. And now we want to connect that uh, uh, with, the, with our WLEDs in the kitchen. Okay, for this I create a new flow. If it's working. Call this flow kitchen light. So, in the first step, we will read out this data point. This can be done using our readDB node, if I find it. No. Let's search for it. Here it is. Let's configure it a little bit. So we will not read this data point out from a real device, but out of a LWAP 900 server. And now it's quite simple. You go to System, User Registers, Kitchen and Light 2. Just drag and drop this light 2 data point in the corresponding field. So I'm finished. Do not forget to check the change of value flag. Let's test the whole stuff by adding a debug node.
Okay, let's deploy. And let's do something. 62% and we have 62%. Perfect. Turn it off should work also, yes. And now we want to control lights, in our case WLEDs. So these are LEDs that can be controlled using commands. They are addressable, so each LED is addressable. So for example, on such kind of role, there are 300 LEDs. And you can turn on and off and dim and set the color of each LED. Not of the whole stripe, yeah, but for each LED. To flash our ESP, we go to GitHub and then we are searching for ESP Home Flasher. Then simply download the correct software and install it. My ESP8266 is already prepared for that. The WLEDs are connected and so far everything is working. And now we want to control that stripe out of Node-RED. Therefore, I have installed a palette which is simply called WLED. And as you can see, there are also other palettes like WLED 2 and 3, but I'm not so happy with them, so I simply use WLED, the classical one. So here is the new node, WLED, and let's have a look what he wants to have. So he wants to have Boolean, which means turn it simply on or off. I can configure it with a number, this means the dim level, a string for any kind of effect. If we have a look at this program here, then you can see that uh, this software here has a lot of predefined uh, stuff. But as I will only use solid, uh, we don't need it. I can also pass a preset, so you can define here a lot of different presets for each LED, as every LED is addressable. You can have a preset for Christmas and for Easter and what so on. Also in my case not so interesting. Okay, let's simply connect the ReadDB with the WLED uh, and as the ReadDB uh, is outputting a number, we are more or less finished. Now we must configure this node a little bit, so let's search for the WLEDs that are already installed and it's also found. So let's select the correct one, double check, yes the IP address is wrong, I will change it. So you can also of course directly enter the IP address. Let's deploy and more or less we are finished. So I'm going to my kitchen light. and set it here to let's say 82 percent and you can see it's lighting of course i can also turn it off ich hoffe dass auch diesmal wieder nützliche informationen für euch dabei waren wenn ihr keine folge mehr versäumen wollt 
abonniert doch diesen Kanal. Wenn ihr selbst einen Tipp oder Trick der Woche habt, dann schreibt ihn doch bitte in die Kommentare. Und nun wünsche ich euch noch eine angenehme Woche. Bleibt gesund!